What's going on, everyone? So there's going to be a lot of attention on Trey Young and DeJounte Murray in this offseason. They just have not worked as a duo, not worked as a pairing, and Atlanta's got to move off of one, if not both, of these guys. Now, I do believe that they will move off of one of them. I don't necessarily think that they'll move off of both. Uh, there is a lot of talk, a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors circle out, circling around Trey Young being the one that they move off of. Um, now, look, I actually think moving off a of Trey makes the most sense. I, there's obviously DeJounte Murray has shown that he can be a guy that you can kind of use in a similar way. I, regardless of who you think is better, DeJounte Murray is best in that point guard role, in that point guard position where he can make plays. You build the proper team around him. I think he could work. I think Atlanta actually has a team even now that I don't think is a contending team, but I do think would be uh, very good if DeJounte Murray is kind of in the position to where he's 24-7, 365. Now the primary point guard gets to make the plays where it's like, yeah, he had moments where he got to, you know, Trey Young missed uh, some time uh, after surgery and stuff. And, you know, DeJounte got to step into that role. But it's one thing when it's like, okay, I know this is momentarily. It's another thing when it's like, okay, now this is it. Like, this is my team. This is my squad. Let's do it. Let's go. And then maybe even Atlanta at some point can look to add a complimentary star alongside DeJounte. Now maybe they can move into that contention status. Very likely be a year or so before that happens. But DeJounte is on a reasonable contract, and they're going to have him for the foreseeable future. I also think it makes the most sense to trade Trey because I just think you'll get the biggest return, right? DeJounte Murray, I don't see you getting this huge haul. Now, I don't necessarily think you're going to get like a Kevin Durant level return for Trey, but I do think you'll get more as far as like assets go um, and even just players go for Trey Young because one, he's also making more money. So any team that potentially is looking to trade for Trey is going to have to match that salary. Uh, and then also you probably get some more picks and whatnot. So I just think from an Atlanta standpoint, makes the most sense to move off a of trade and, and kind of hit the reset button on the franchise. You have DeJounte Murray to build around, right? And then you kind of see what other pieces, um, you know, maybe make sense that you want to keep. And then I think you just kind of tear it down to the studs, right? You just basically trade everybody except for DeJounte and, you know, maybe some of the young guys. But, I mean, I don't even hate the idea of Atlanta trading. Like, if they get a... Like, let's say they trade Trey, and then they get a good type of offer for DeJounte, I think you kind of take it, right? Because, again, DeJounte isn't 23, right? Now, as far as Trey Young goes, right, there's a lot of talks, um, and he's kind of addressed the rumors and conversations about, like, hey, no, I want to stick around, and I want to stay in Atlanta, right? I want to build a real contender here. I want to, you know try and potentially uh, win a championship in Atlanta. But like he's talked about, like he doesn't have forever, you know. I mean, he's still relatively young. He's 25 years old, but he doesn't have forever, right? He'll be 26 in September, right? So, you know, he's going to want to contend. He's a competitor. He wants to win NBA championships. Now, of course, there's all the speculation of him potentially going to the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, that is only going to continue to ramp up as we get into the offseason. Um, you know, to me... I do think there's a lot of smoke, right? And usually where there's smoke, there's fire. I mean, you even have people like Kendrick Perkins coming out going like, nah, Trey's going to the Lakers. <laughs> I mean, he didn't flat out say that, but he was like, oh, the Lakers are getting, I, I have good word, spoke to the guy myself that he's, <laughs> that uh, the Lakers are going to land another star this offseason. It's going to be great for Anthony Davis. And he's just like listing everything that Trey Young is. And then he's like, but I won't give you the name. And everyone's like, okay, so it's Trey. Like just, you might as well just said it, right? And and even if he doesn't go to the Lakers, right? I'm not necessarily saying he has to go to Lakers. I know many of you that watch these videos and are familiar with me and my Laker channel as it stands Lakers. Um, I Look, I've spoken numerous times that I'm not really super high on Trey Young with the Lakers. I don't necessarily think the fit is great and seamless. I think post-LeBron, it would be much better. But I think LeBron is sticking around a little while. But... Obviously, if Trey can pick a spot, I mean, there's there have been talks of and links for Trey onto the Lakers. I mean, dating back to like his draft, even right. Like, there's been a lot of talk about just Trey potentially uh, working his way to a big market, right? And L.A. fits that bill, fits that mold, and Trey is looked at and perceived as like kind of that L.A. style type player, right? So 
skin. Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. But I do think a lot of... I do think what he says is half-truth, right? Like, what is he supposed to say? Is he supposed to come out and be like, ah, you know, Atlanta's trash. Like, get me out of here. No, right? He's, he's going to give the, you know, the politically correct answer, right? Like, hey, you know, I love it here. This is great. But like, hey... You know, I, I, you know, I got to do his best for me type thing. But, you know, if we can build the contender here, then let's do it. You know, I don't want to go nowhere. We've heard that same story, same talk, the same everything from pretty much every star player or, or organization even. And, you know, it just it it appears that Atlanta kind of seems like they're ready to move off of Trey. But even besides the Lakers, I do think that there are several teams that could make some sense for Trey. I think that there are several teams that you know, could potentially look and go, okay. But I also think at the same time, his market is going to be very limited, right? Because, I mean, the reality with Trey is he's an undersized, not hyper-efficient star. Like, he is a star, without a doubt. But he's not this, like, super hyper-athlete that's got good size, good frame, and, you know, can can you know, lock down the opposing players' guards. Like, no, he's undersized, he's a defensive liability. You're going to have to mask him on the defensive side. Um, yes, he's a guy that can, when he's on, he's up there with the best of them, right? When he's cooking, he is cooking. You know, he's probably one of, if not the best playmakers in the entire NBA. The guy is absolutely spectacular. Um, he's a guy that you know is going to go in. He's not afraid of the moment. He can show up big. He's going to go get you, you know, 26 to 30 a game. Right, he's going to dish out 10 to 12 assists a game. He's going to get you a steal or something. You know, he's going to He's a guy that can put it up with the best of them, right? But he's again, like I said, he's not super efficient. Right? He's you know, from three-point range for his career, 35% three-point, 35.5%. He's had better years than others. Right? Even like this past year at 8.7 attempts per game, he shot 37%. Um his best year was in 2021-2022, in which he took eight attempts and shot 38%. But he's not this, like, super efficient guy. I mean, even even from two-point range, he's had years where he's under 50% uh, from the field total, right? And, and then free throws, right? He's had better years than others, right? Like, he can be rather inefficient. Turns the ball over heavily, right? He's also a guy that is incredibly high usage, right? One of the highest usage players in the league. Uh, so you're talking about a guy that you know, always is used to having the ball in his hands. Can he even play alongside another star, right? Like, can he even be a guy that is okay with not, you know, playing off ball at times, right? Can you even make it work, right? There's a lot of questions about Trey. I do think that he has to be in the right fit. Now, he is a guy that has shown that he can lead a team to a conference finals as the best player. Like, can he lead a team to an NBA championship? No, time will tell. We'll, we'll see. Uh, depending on how it goes, but also depends on the team and how it's equipped around him. But I just, I look at Trey and he's kind of like the big question mark for me in this off season, right? Cause it's just like, I could see Atlanta potentially not getting the offers and potential returns that they would be looking for in a potential Trey Young. Cause again, it's, it's a very, he's a very unique specific type of player that not every team is going to want. I mean, most of the top teams already have a point guard or they have a young guy that they're that they are looking to grow and develop and, and be in that direction. Does Trey really want to want to go to a tanking team? Probably not. You know, you look at a team like San Antonio, there's a lot of talks that San Antonio is kind of not interested in Trey because he's not really a, a San Antonio type player, which is true. So it's like, again, I think the market is limited. Hey, how many teams are lining up to go sign an undersized guard that is heavy usage on ball? It's a team that needs somebody like that. You know, like, again, a team like Miami, okay, maybe that makes a little sense, right? Because they he he could kind of run and operate, make plays for everybody. Bam out of bio and Jimmy Butler, they're two guys that, you know, they're fine doing the dirty work. Trey kind of be Trey, right? The Lakers, again, not really sold on the fit alongside LeBron James, but the idea... I get makes a lot of sense. A guy that can kind of handle the offensive workload can set up Anthony Davis. I mean, it would make things so much easier for Anthony Davis. That's no doubt. Um, it's just, is LeBron going to be willing to kind of allow 
uh, Trey to operate and be so heavily on ball. Like, just a lot of questions. Like, outside of that, it's like, you know, who else is really lining up to go trade for Trey Young, right? Maybe a team like, uh, maybe Orlando seems to really want kind of like a, a scoring point guard. Um you know, there's talks like Orlando's interested in like a D'Angelo Russell. Like, could they look at it and go, oh, maybe we could go trade for a Trey who's kind of like, you know, he is an upgraded version of a D'Lo. Um, you know, outside of that, it's like, like who else is signing up for the, the Trey Young experiment? I just don't see many teams, if any, really looking to go, okay, like, let's go do that. Let's go, let's go bring in Trey. I said most teams already have their point guard for the future or have their guy that they're that they're, you know, good with for now. And, you know, it just, the the other teams have the other stars where it's like, oh, do we really want to take the ball out of this guy's hands and put it into Trey's hands when this guy is, you know, just as good, if not better? Just a lot of questions, but time will tell. We'll see. Anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Pass question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? What are your thoughts on Trey Young? How do you feel? Do you think um, he ends up getting traded? Do you think he ends up staying with Atlanta? Uh, you know, do do you think that what he's saying is true about wanting to stay in Atlanta, or do you kind of feel like ah, it's just you know the the PC answer? Um, again, how you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.